Okay, we're going to back to uh, 1 Kings, the 8th chapter. We're going to continue. Verse 35. When heaven is shut up and there is no rain, because they have sinned against thee, if they pray toward this place, toward the east, and confess thy name, the name of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and turn from their sin, I mean to keep the laws, that's the commandments of the Most High, when thou afflicted them, turn from their sin, when thou afflicted them, catch all this tribulation, the Most High afflict us, then hear thou in heaven, and forgive the sin of thy servants, who are the twelve tribes of Israel, and of thy people, Israel, that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk, and give rain upon thy land, mean blessings, which thou hast given to thy people, for an inheritance. If there be in the land famine, if there be pestilence, blasting, mildew, locusts, or if there be caterpillar, if their enemy besiege them in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be, what prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all thy people Israel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart and spread forth his hands toward this house, toward the east, then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and forgive, and do, and give to every man according to his ways, whose heart, which is your mind, thou knowest. But thou even now only knoweth the hearts of all the children of men, that they may fear thee all the days that they live in the land which thou gavest unto our fathers. Fear the most high. Can't get over this. Can't hear this enough. That they may fear thee, fear the Most High, all the days that they live in the land which thou gave it unto thy, our fathers. Moreover, concerning the stranger, that's all I want to know. That's what the Most High wants us to do. This is what He wants to do, people. Repent. Come back to the Most High. Keep His law, statutes, and commandments. Second Chronicles six thirty-six. Second Chronicles six and thirty-six. If they sin against thee, there is no man which sinneth not. And thou be angry with them, and we sin against the Most High, and he be angry with us, and deliver them over before their enemies, and here we are, in the hands of our enemies. And they carried them away captives unto a land far off or near. And we really far off from our homeland of Israel, men here. In his western hemisphere. Yet if they bethink themselves, we think about what we have done in the land where they are carried captive. We have we thought ourselves in the land where we've been carried captives. And decided we're gonna come back to the laws that's come out to the most high here and saying it, crying out to our people, come back to the law, repent, and come back to the laws that's commandments of the most high. Yet if they bethink themselves in the land whither they have, they are carried captive. This is Second Chronicles six and thirty-seven. Yet if they bethink themselves in the land whither they are carried captive, and turn and pray unto thee in the land of their captivity, saying, We have sinned, we have done amiss, and have dealt wickedly. 
All of us have to pray this. Regardless if you think you're so righteous to nothing. Over righteous people, you just say this too, because you're not over righteous. Besides that, be over righteous, not much and over wicked much. My must not destroy thyself before thy time, that person. So we gotta pray this prayer. Ask the most high to forgive us, regardless of how righteous we are. Brothers, in the land of our captivity, saying, We have sinned, we have sinned. You can't get yourself only out of the word we. We as a nation have sinned. We have sinned. We, WE, have done a miss. We have done a miss. And have dealt wickedly. And have dealt wickedly. This mob is in the eyes of the most high. If they return to thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their captivity, whether they are have carried them captives and pray toward their land, which is pray toward the east, which thou gave unto their fathers, and toward the city which thou hast chosen, Jerusalem is in the east, and toward the house which I have built for thy name is toward the east. Then hear thou from the heavens, even from thy dwelling place, their prayer and their supplications. Hear that? Supplication means our cries. Our sincere crying. And cries to the Most High. Our weeping to the Most High. Our mourning. Sadness. Sincerely repenting to the Most High. Supplications. Lamentations. Well to the Most High. And maintain their cause. And forgive thy people. Which have sinned against thee. Now my power. Power of Aaron, Isaac, and Jacob. Let I beseech thee. Thine, e thine eyes be open and let thine ears be attent, meaning attentive unto the prayer that is made in this place. Now therefore arise, O Most High. And now therefore arise, O Most High, unto thy resting place. Arise, O Most High. That's why you're talking about Krom Yasharala. But we got to say what this prayer is saying. Krom Abinawi, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why he's saying it. Over and over again, you can see it. I can show you. If you don't see it, I see it. Mashiach was shot sitting on the right hand side of the Most High. He got to rise to come and judge and make war. But the most I gotta rise first. Then hear thou from heaven, from the heavens. Now my power. Now therefore arise, O most high power, into thy resting place, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priest, O most high power, be clothed with salvation, and let thy saints rejoice in goodness. O most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, turn not away the face of thine anointed. Remember the mercies of David, thy servant. Got to pray. In supplications, that prayer the most high will hear. He will not forsake us. Look at um, Job 34. Job 34. And Job 34 and thirty thirty one. Job thirty four.
surely it is a meat, it is a right, surely it is right meat to be said unto the Most High, I have borne chastisement, I will not offend any more. It's the right thing to say, I'm born, I carry chastisement. I will not offend you anymore. See. Look at uh verse 21, Job 34, 21. For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. Most I see all his goings. Look at verse 11. For the work of a man shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to his ways. For in what you do, most I was watching, you see everything. Look at uh, Verse 24, Job 34, 24. He shall break in pieces mighty men without number and set others in their stead. It's like right now. Kingdoms that's ruling now, they're not going to rule forever. Mashiach Shai is coming to judge and make war. They're going to set others in their stead, the children of Israel. Therefore he knoweth their works, and he overturneth them in the night, so that they are destroyed. And we we definitely in darkness now. You can overthrow them in the night. This is not the day. Because Masha Rashad got to bring forth the day. He's that bright morning star. He striketh them as wicked men. See? He striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others. You're going to do this in the open sight of others. They, everybody going to see us. That's why I tell you in Revelation 1 and 7, we come with the clouds and every eye going to see him. And those also who pierced him. He's dragging them as wicked men in the open sight of others because they turned back from him. You hear that? Some of you Israelites that's turning back, trying to find another way where you've been, you been showed the way, you want to try and find another way? Because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways. You don't want to hear that you got to keep the laws of the Most High? And you got to know the true testimony of Amashiach Kavashah, that he only came for the 12 tribes of Israel Repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins to the Israelites. Are you trying to find some other way besides what's written in this Bible? You wicked. Verse 27, because they turned back from him. You know, they call you backsliders. Turn back from him. If you turn back, you didn't heard the word of the Most High. And you turn back to some religion. That's you. Because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways. We ain't under law, we're in the mercy and grace. So that's you. So that they caused the cry of the poor to come unto him. And he heard the cry of the afflicted. You hear that? That's what I tell you. That's something. Because you can't do this if you pray for it. You can't cry to the most high. You can't wail and weep to the Most High if you're crying for them. And even if you are wailing and crying to the Most High, and you still talk about you ain't got to follow him by saying you ain't under his law, he ain't hearing your prayer. Look, you better understand, people. This is serious. You see, people, they have they have you mesmerized in religions thinking that you Most High hearing everything That you said in your prayers, he's not hearing you. You're praying to some other entity. 
Name the most high. Believe you, me. Understand this, understand this. It's very, very important, people. I want you to understand because the call is going out. The warning is going out. The warning is going out. Hopefully you'll hear and forbear before it's too late. Look at uh, Proverbs 28 and 9. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. You want to turn your ears away from hearing the law? Even his prayer shall be abomination. So when you hear about yourself about you gotta do this is right, this is wrong, and dealing with the law, you don't want to go over them laws, your prayer is abomination. So who are you praying to? Your prayer is abomination, he said. You don't want to hear what you're saying. Don't get caught up like this, people. Go back to Job 34. You know, Job was catching. You see, Job followers, he thought he was over righteous. He felt like he should have been dealt with. When they tell you in I believe it's Isaiah 53 and 10. It pleased the most high, the bruise of Mashiach Elishai is the only begotten son. Who are we as fleshly men? Mortal men that think that the most high will not deal with any of us. So he says, Verse 31 and 32. So 34, 31 and 32. Seeing surely it is me, is right, to be said unto the most high. I am born to chastisement. To carry chastisement. I will not offend anymore. I will not break your commandments anymore. We offend the most high by doing opposite of what he tells us to do. That which I see not teach thou me. What I don't see, what I don't see, I can't see it. Sam, please teach me. Teach me what I could not see. That which I see not teach thou me. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. So what I didn't know, teach me. If I've sinned against you, I will not do it anymore. So I most I said, I'm going to my place till they acknowledge their offense. In their affliction, they shall seek me early. Hosea 5 and 15. That's what he said. Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. What offense? The offense that we have offended the most high and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. See? Why do you got to continue to be afflicted before you're going to seek him? He said, this your affliction, you're going to seek him early. Look at Leviticus 26 and 40. He gave us, you know, ways of forgiveness. Leviticus 26 and 40. If they shall confess their iniquity, see, we confess our sins, our wickedness. And the iniquity of their fathers. We have the iniquity of our fathers. How our fathers have broken the laws of the Most High and hurt the Most High, offended the Most High. 
with their trespass, which they trespass against me, trespass against the Most High, and that also they have walked contrary unto me by following the ways of the nations and all the gods of the nations are idols, dealing with idolatry, keeping all these pagan days like Christmas and Easter and Thanksgiving and Halloween getting ready to come up. How many call themselves Christians going to got their house all decorated with all kind of madness of the world of Halloween. And in the churches. And that also they have walked contrary to me. And that I also have walked contrary to them. You know? That's why we're the magician we the most I say he walked contrary to us. But we walk contrary to him. We offended him. So he offended us. And that I also have walked contrary to them. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. See that? Look what the most I did. Brought us into the land of our enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts, uncircumcised minds, be humble. That's what I say. To be humble, then you can't be private. That's the opposite of being private. But be humble. And then, me, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. We accept the punishment of our wickedness, our sins that we have sinned against the Most High, broken His laws, Judge Commandments. Then when I remember my covenant with Jacob, then we remember His covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember? And I will remember the name of Israel. Usually you hear Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he went backwards this time. His covenant with Jacob. He was the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. His covenant with Isaac, who was Jacob's father. His covenant with Abraham, who was Isaac's father. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The covenant that he made with them. Not with anyone else. So you're not of the twelve tribes of Israel. The covenant's not with you. Go to Deuteronomy 4, 29. See, we have to look at these laws to see what the Most High said. And remember what he said. And change. And do what's right in his eyes. Deuteronomy and 29. But if from this thou shalt seek the most high, thy power, that's your power, yours a personal pronoun showing ownership, thou shalt find him. What he said. But if thou thence thou shalt seek the most high, thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, seek him with all our mind and all our spirit. If thou art in tribulation, you're catching a lot of hell, and all these things shall come upon thee, even in the latter days, in the last days, I'm telling you. We in the wilderness. And he's all the way to our time now. In these last days. If thou turn to the most high thy power. And shalt. Be obedient unto his voice. For the most high thy power is a merciful power. So the most high. is merciful. Mercy is not getting something that you do deserve. He won't give us what we do deserve. He will not forsake thee. You see he's not going to forsake us. Neither destroy thee. He's not going to destroy us. Don't forget the covenant of thy fathers. We've been talking about it. Covenant with who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Which he swear to them. 
Well, that's now the days that are past. Which are before thee. Since the day that the most I created man upon the earth and acts from the one side of heaven unto the other. Whether these, whether there have been any such thing as this great thing is, or have been heard like it. Did ever people hear the voice of the Most High speaking out of the midst of a fire? As thou was heard and lived? What people can say that? Nobody but the Israelites. Look, understand what we're talking about. Verse 24. You don't have to be 424. For the Most High, our power, thy power, your power, is a consuming fire. Even a jealous power. That's what we're talking about. So when you allow anything that you enjoy more than him, oh, he's going to deal with you. He's going to get you. And when he gets you, he, he starts jacking you up. And you think, oh, it's just going to a, 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 a coincidence. No, ain't nothing no coincidence. The most high is dealing with you. Taking something away from you. Or making you hurt. Making us suffer. Making us catch tribulation. Then you start to understand. But if you simple-minded, simple-minded people ain't gonna understand nothing. It's just gonna be like anybody, you gotta, gotta go to the doctor and they tell you this, that, and the third, or whatever. When you go before somebody, and somebody gonna tell you whatever, whatever not, not going through these scriptures to give you an understanding spiritually of what's going on. Go to Deuteronomy the 30th chapter. Verse eight. Deuteronomy 30 and 8. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Most High and do all his commandments which I command thee this day. And the Most High thy power will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand. See, when you start to do what the Most High told us to do in the law, he said he's going to make us plenteous in every work of thine hand. In the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy land, for good. For the Most High will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Most High, thy power, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law. And if thou turn unto the Most High, thy power, with all thine heart, with all thy soul, what he's going to do. He's going to bless us. Over and over again, he told us. Look at Deuteronomy 28 and 1, 1 and 2. Verse 1 and 2. This shall come to pass to future. If, with a condition, thou shalt hearken, let's listen. This is unto the voice of the Most High Thy power. He keep telling us over and over again. Listen to His voice. The voice have words. And we know that the Mashiach Abishai is the word of the Most High. Here He will be the angel of the Most High. The spirit of the Most High. As always. It shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Most High Thy power. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the most high thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That's the kingdom. That's for us to live today. We didn't have opportunity for this to happen. And us coming back to his law, such commandments. He said he's going to set us on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if, that's condition, thou shalt hearken, listen unto the voice of the most high thy power. You gotta hear his voice. You gotta do what he say do. And you're gonna be blessed with plenteousness. Plenteous, he said. Look at um, Second Chronicles seven. Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. Second 
Second Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, which are called by my name, Yahshua, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open. So I say, you hear the spirit. Repent, you hear repent. And keep the laws of the most high. Come back to the laws of the most high. And do the laws of the most high. See, now my eyes shall be open and my ears attend, I mean attentive to the prayer that is made in this place. Look at uh, what a Nehemiah, the first chapter. Nehemiah, the first chapter. Nehemiah is right after Ezra. Ezra. Nehemiah, the first chapter. See these solutions. Those that have ears to hear. Everybody don't have ears to hear, eyes to see. Some you can't relate because you got them prideful demons and they won't allow you to hear. To be humble. You better be humble before the most high. Yeah. Nehemiah. Let's start at verse 1. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hachaliah, in Shishka, in the 20th year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Hananiah, one of my brethren, came. He and certain men of Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. So he asked them about the Israelites that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. What's going on? You want to know? And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction. And reproach, disgrace, and catch an affliction, and being disgraced. The wall of Jerusalem also was broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. The walls of Jerusalem was broken down, and the gates burned with fire. Verse 4, listen, this is Nehemiah. It came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept, and sat down and cried. And mourns certain days, see, man of the most high. So he sat down and cried, he wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the most high of power of heaven. And said, I beseech thee, O most high power of heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. The great and terrible power that keep it covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. You know? The covenant for those that love him and observe his commandments. Keep his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive and thine eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant which I pray before thee now. How? In weeping and mourning with a humble and broken and contrite spirit before the Most High. Let thy ear now be attentive and thy eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant 
which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel. Thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel. Praying for the most high servants of the children of Israel, and confess the sins of the children of Israel. Now we have broken the most high's commandments, which we have sinned against thee. But I and my father's house have sinned. Both I and my father's house have sinned. Hear what he said? This is the formula. This what works in the eyes of the Most High. See, I, he's a righteous man. That's why you got the book of Nehemiah. The prophet of the Most High. Did you hear what he said? Both I and my father's house have sinned. Including himself. This was glorious in the eyes of the Most High. Not that you all that. Thinking you all that. There ain't nothing before the Most High. Understand this and overstand this. But you think you something? Then go to the Most High privately. And not humbly. Because you don't care about the condition of your people. And see what you get from the Most High. We just read he's a consuming fire. Listen, hear what he said? The last precepts of verse 6. For the children of Israel thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we, including himself, have sinned against thee. See, we, it's all of us. Nobody excluded. This is what works before the most high. We are sin. No matter how righteous you think you are. We are sin. This is what works. We are sin against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee. And have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commanded thy servants Moses. So remember I beseech thee the word that thou commanded thy servant Moses, saying, If ye trespass, excuse me, if ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. He told us that in Deuteronomy 28, 64. He said, We trespass his commandments, he gonna scatter us out of the land of Israel, among all these nations, among these heathen nations. Verse 9 is very important. But if you turn unto me, you turn unto the Most High, this is words. If you turn unto the Most High and keep my commandments, keep his commandments and do them, keep his commandments and do them, thou, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, which is on this earth. How is the authority on this earth is heaven. And we cast through the utmost part of the heaven. Yet will I gather them from thence. So he's going to gather us from thence. And will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people. Whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power, by thy strong hand. O Most High, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants. That's all the Israelites, that's in the spirit of the Most High, the prayer's prayer. Who desire to fear thy name, hear that? Who desire to fear, be afraid, be scared of the Most High's name, respect the Most High's name and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. I was the king's cupbearer. He was the king's cupbearer. But he's in captivity. 
Just like we're in captivity. And these are formulas that work without a shadow of a doubt. Go to the book of Job. Job 11 chapter. Look at Job 11, we're going to read verse 13. Job 11, 13. If thou prepare thine heart, prepare your mind, and stretch out thine hands toward him, stretch out your hands toward him, toward the east, you prepare your mind. Devote your mind to righteousness and stretch out thine hands toward him. If iniquity be in thine hand, put it far away. If sins and wickedness be among you, put it off. Stop doing it. And let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles. Don't let wickedness dwell in your bodies. There's a price to pay, people. For then shall thou lift up thy face without spot. It will be blameless. Yeah, thou shalt be steadfast and shalt not fear. Because thou shalt forget thy misery and remember it as waters that pass away. Just like it never existed. That's why you got to repent and change and stop doing the things that you know is wrong. You got to know what's wrong to be able to stop doing the things that's wrong. Job 22. Job 22 and 23. Let's look at verse 22. That's great. Receive, I pray thee, Job 22, 22. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. He would say, receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth. When he tells us to hearken, listen to his voice, it comes from his mouth. Voice comes from your mouth, right? So it's a hey. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. Lay up his words in your mind. That's why Joshua 1 and 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from thy from thee. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou may be prosperous and have good success. Paraphrasing. So that's Joshua 1 and 8. So receive, I pray thee. Joel 22, 22. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. See? If you're going to turn to the Most High, you're going to be built up. He said, I'm going to build you up. And thou shalt put away iniquity far from your bodies. Put away sins and wickedness where you can become a new creature. And you'll shine bright in the darkness that we in. Most people are in. Say, then shall I lay up gold as dust 
And the gold of Ophir, that's the best gold of the world. As the stones of the brooks. Yeah, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. Then, for then shall thou have thy delight in the Almighty. You do what he say to do, keep it as law, statute, commandments. He's telling you. And shall lift up thy face unto the Most High. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee. And thou shalt pay thy vows. This is what works. Psalm 34 and 18. Psalm 34 18. The Most High is nigh. The Most High is near. Under them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. The Most High is nigh, meaning near. Under them that are of a broken heart. A broken heart, a broken mind. And say to such as be of a contrite spirit, a humble spirit. Many are the fiction of the righteous, but the most I deliver him out of them all. Keep it all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Let's see. Look at verse 7. Angel of the Most High and camp around about them that fear him and deliver them. See, we have an angel of the Most High that encamp around them that fear him. That have the proper understanding of the fear of the Most High, which is the beginning of knowledge. The angel of the Most High camp around them. That fear him and deliver them. He saved them. Deliver me, he saved me from everything. Because you know the angels get into people's minds and have them change their minds. That's why I say, when you please them, when you please the most high, make even your, your, your enemies be at peace with you. But if you don't believe that, then what a lot of people have to deal with, the enemies going so, so much against them because they don't believe what the most I said. They don't believe it. This moment. 